I'm here at uh, HP Enterprise Discovery 2016. I have with me Dee Liang. He is a research scientist at Hewlett Packard Labs. Hello and welcome. Hi there. Now I'm just going to, uh, just before you say anything, I'm just going to move down here. You can see that this is the silicon photonics research optical engines for the machine. And you would have seen a video on the machine. But I'm not going to go back to, to Dee to tell us about this particular display. So uh, go for thanks. it. Thanks, Raj. So as you see, it's uh, silicon based photonics. And what we try to do is to offer a uh, large volume, low cost, uh, a low power consumption, high speed silicon photonic solution for the machine. As so we know that the machine is, uh, has a huge computing sector, a huge memory pool, and we try to be, provide a high speed uh, data transport through between them. So what we did is, uh, as we know that uh, photonics has been exist uh, for decades to transmit the data. And all the high-speed internet is based on high-speed uh, fiber optics right now. So what we try to do is to bring this system into the data center, into the supercomputer. But it has to be low cost, high volume, low power consumption. So that's our focus. So we're starting the innovation from the very beginning, the light source. We need to generate light in order to code the electro signal into the light. So we designed these micro ring lasers. Uh, we like this structure because it can be very compact. It's only a fraction of the human hair in diameter. So it's taking very small amount of energy to operate it. Also, we can have several micro ring lasers all uh, piled together and each ring generates uh, one color and we have multiple color of uh, light to carry multiple channel of information all merged into one fiber so that's a huge advantage compared with the old technology where each uh, electric signal uh, normally can only go into one wire no we have multiple channel of information going to one optical fiber so we were able to encode 12.5 gigabit information into one ring. So four ring give 50 gigabit information, mm -hmm. and eight rings will give 100 gig information. So and we have uh, 12 fibers in this bundle per port. So in each port, that's going to be 1.2 terabit uh, information. So it's a huge uh, uh, data communication bandwidth and uh, being able to integrate different components all on the same chip. We were able to reduce the chip size, improve the performance, and eventually give us a, a huge competitive, competitiveness in the cost. So this is the optical transceiver people can buy in the market. Let's carry one gig uh, bit information, 10 gig bit information. And um, this is the chip we developed in the lab, that is 200 gig. So 1, 10, 200. So you can see the power of integration by reducing the size, improve the performance, and eventually bring the overall package to a very competitive fashion. So that's what we do, and hopefully in a span of a couple of years, we will see those tiny chips deployed in our the machine and uh, become a huge con uh, contribute factor to the overall system. Thank you. Okay, Dave, thank you very much. Thanks.